the military and NASA come and look at this sphere to see if it was some kind of military device, piece of a spaceship or something like that. Throughout history, scientists have uncovered artifacts and objects that defy the laws of earthly science. Strange and mysterious findings that have made their way from outer space into our world. These unnatural objects serve as proof of possible advanced civilizations existing beyond the shores of our green planet, and their origin and purpose have mystified scientists for years. Get ready to have your mind blown as we explore 20 objects that could have come from space. Number 20. Drapa Stones Our journey begins in China, where archaeologists made a shocking discovery that shook the world to its core. While leading an excavation operation in a cave in China, Chinese archaeologist Chu Pu Te stumbled upon a series of graves, each containing a strange skeleton that measured about three feet and definitely didn't look human. The skeletons featured a skinny body and a strangely large head that looked exactly like the first thing that would come to your mind when you think of an alien. But as crazy as this discovery of the skeletons sound, it's not even the craziest part of this story. As the archaeologists studied the site, they found some ancient relics that would cause one of the largest stirs in history. Mysterious stone discs, over 716 of them. These mysterious stones had strange hieroglyphs on them, the likes of which no archaeologist has ever seen. These stone discs, known as the Drapa Stones, measured up to three feet in diameter and had a round hole in the middle. These ancient artifacts were dated to be over 12,000 years old, and it took 20 years before archaeologists were able to translate the strange hieroglyphs on the granite discs. What they found absolutely shocked everyone. The disc told the story of spaceships visiting Earth in ancient times, piloted by strange-looking creatures known as the Dropa people. This amazing discovery confirmed the theories of ufologists and believers in the ancient astronauts' theory. So why do we still doubt the existence of alien life on Earth when we have such concrete evidence at hand? Because no one believed any of those claims. As a matter of fact, when archaeology expert Tsum Um Nui published the conclusions, he was met with ridicule and left China for Japan in a self-imposed exile until his death shortly after. Since then, many people have discarded the story as nothing but a work of fiction. But is this the case, or is this another perfectly executed cover-up in order to protect sensitive and classified information? I guess we'll never know. That is, unless the Drapa people visit us again. Number 19. Betts Mystery Sphere in April 1974, Antoine Betts and his wife Jerry Betts, along with their oldest son Terry, were taking a walk in the woods surrounding their property on Fort George Island, when Terry noticed a strange-looking object on the ground. The object, a metal sphere measuring 8 inches in diameter and weighing 22 pounds, about the size of a bowling ball, would go on to change their lives forever. Terry, who was a 21-year-old pre-med student at the time, was fascinated by the ball and thought it would make a great souvenir. So he took it home. At first, there was nothing strange or special about the orb, but everything changed one day when Terry started strumming his guitar near it, and the strangest things happened. The ball hummed back. The Betts family were stunned. They couldn't believe their eyes. The metal ball they had brought home was much more than a simple metal orb, and they believed it could have come from out of this world. Not long after the guitar incident, the ball started displaying other strange properties, rolling around on its own, accurately changing directions, and stopping abruptly. According to Jerry Betts, the mother who became the official spokesman of the family, the ball would sometimes vibrate and emit a high-pitched sound that made their dogs cover their ears. News of the Betts sphere spread like wildfire, gaining both national and international attention. Everyone wanted to see what the hype was all about, including the American Navy, who inspected the ball, but could only make wild speculations about its origin. Till date, there are various mysteries surrounding the origin and purpose of this mysterious sphere, most of which are linked to extraterrestrial activities. However, no official conclusion has been reached, and this discovery remains an unsolved mystery. 
Number 18. King Tut's Meteorite Dagger Many archaeological discoveries have been made in Egypt, but perhaps there is none as fascinating as the discovery of the tomb of King Tutankhamun, an ancient Egyptian pharaoh whose tomb remains one of the most intact tombs ever discovered in Egypt. Out of the many treasures discovered in the tomb, archaeologist Howard Carter found an iron dagger. This was strange because King Tut's reign was during the Bronze Age, when the process of iron smelting had not yet been discovered. Although the ancient Egyptians were pretty advanced with their technology, it would still be many, many years after the reign of King Tut before iron smelting became a thing. Earlier studies of the iron dagger in the 1970s and the 1990s revealed the possibility that it was forged from a meteorite, a space rock that had fallen to the Earth. At the time, many people found this theory controversial and unbelievable. However, recently we have been able to prove that those earlier theories were actually right. Scientists have come to the conclusion that the blade definitely has extraterrestrial origins due to the high composition of nickel and cobalt in the blade, which is nearly identical to the composition of most meteors found on Earth. Number 17. The Strange Call from Proxima Centauri Since time immemorial, humans have always been obsessed with trying to make contact with our neighbors from other planets. Our curiosity has pushed us further and further to develop complex machines capable of sending and receiving signals from beyond Earth. As we try to find the answers to the age-long question, are we alone in the universe? But have you ever considered the possibility that maybe we are not the only ones on the search for intelligent life? Maybe those beings from other planets or even other solar systems in the universe are also trying to make contact with us. Maybe they are trying to find us as much as we are trying to find them. In 2019, NASA astronomers made an astonishing discovery that shocked everyone. Using advanced technology, they were able to intercept a radio signal that appeared to have come from Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our sun. This strange call from space was clearly unnatural and definitely didn't come from Earth, and it was named BL Cone or Breakthrough Listen Candidate 1. Could this be an alien civilization trying to make contact with us? This groundbreaking discovery looked like it had the potential to answer all our questions about the presence of alien life in space and could be the breakthrough we've been hoping for for decades. Although scientists were excited, they were very cautious because even though the signal they intercepted definitely sounded like it had come from space, they didn't want to jump into conclusions. Another exciting fact about the intercepted radio signal was that its frequency changed, just like a siren sounds higher pitched when it is coming towards you and lower as it moves away. BLC-1's frequency changed exactly like it came from a moving object within Proxima Centauri. Unfortunately, when astronomers observed Proxima Centauri again in 2020, the signal had disappeared, never to be heard again. This led to many conclusions that maybe it hadn't come from space after all and was just an earthly signal that sounded interstellar. However, many astronomers are hopeful that one day we will make contact again. They will call us and we will pick up. Number 16, the aluminum wedge of AIUD. In 1974, while digging a trench along the Muir's River, Workers found bones belonging to the famous Mastodon distant relatives of the elephants, which roamed the Earth over 11,000 years ago. As if this find was not interesting enough, a mysterious aluminum wedge, dated to be over 10,000 years old, was found buried 30 feet below the ground, alongside the Mastodon bones. Considering the fact that aluminum was relatively unknown to mankind until the 1800s, how could an artifact made out of aluminum be in existence 10,000 years ago? Who made it, and where did the materials come from? These and many more questions filled the minds of scientists, leading to many conspiracy theories linking the wedge to extraterrestrial origins. Because how else are you going to explain an aluminum object existing at a time when aluminum had not yet been discovered? It's like finding an iPad in the 1800s definitely has to be aliens, Popular Romanian ufologist Florin Georgida was one of the first to support the theory, claiming that the wedge was probably from an alien spacecraft which visited the Earth in ancient times. 
However, we do not know why the artifact got left behind, nor its purpose. On the other side of the spectrum, you will find the skeptics, who believe that the object is fake and is just a grand hoax that has refused to die. However, their voices are drowned out by supporters of the alien theory, who believe that this piece of outer space technology is concrete proof, not just that aliens exist, but also that they have visited our planet in times past, and may even be active on our planet right now, hiding in plain sight. The prospect of that is both exciting and scary at the same time. In 1995, the aluminum wedge of AIUD was removed from public view and transported to an undisclosed location, where it has remained under lock and key. Number 15. Unidentified Fireballs of Chile In 2019, the sky of Chile lit up in what looked like a scene from an Armageddon movie, as several unidentified objects rained down upon the city of Dalcahua in Chile. Panic hit everywhere, as people thought it was a rocket shower and emergency protocols were promptly put in place. Seven of these fireballs hit the ground, mostly in unpopulated areas, starting little fires that were easily put out by volunteer firefighters. News of the event spread like wildfire, and wild speculations began to spread as well. Many believed the strange falling objects were meteorites or comets, and others on the wild wild side claimed the fallen objects were alien spacecraft. After studying the sites of the crash carefully, officials were able to determine that there were no traces of meteorites, and the objects were most likely space debris orbiting the Earth, which caught on fire as it entered the atmosphere. Number 14. Strange Metal Piece in the Pacific Ocean Have you ever considered the possibility that maybe humans are not the only ones sending spacecraft to other planets in order to explore if there's life there? Maybe aliens have also been sending spaceships to Earth so perfectly disguised that they fly under our radar, undetected by our advanced technology. This was a daunting hypothesis put forward by Abby Loeb, a Harvard professor, after the groundbreaking discovery of unearthly metal fragments pulled from the depths of the Pacific Ocean. After careful analysis, Loeb determined that this small object, the size of a penny, didn't look like it was made from any earthly material, and the composition bore a striking resemblance to another object that crash-landed on Earth in 2014. This captivating discovery shook the world, making headlines worldwide and arousing the curiosity of many scientists who tried to find the origin of these strange metal pieces. The only working explanation thus far is that this was a fragment from a flying saucer, which may or may not have crash-landed in or around the Pacific Ocean. If this is indeed what it is claimed to be, this could definitely be a candidate for discovery of the century. But scientists are cautious before drawing a conclusion on the object, and further analysis is underway in trying to determine the origin and purpose of the strange metal. Number 13. E.T. Tooth Wheel Our next strange space object was discovered in Vladivostok, Russia by Dmitri a local resident who was just adding ordinary coal to a fire when he noticed a strange metal object sticking out of one of those coals. The protruded metal object looked man-made, but how did it get stuck in the coal and what was it? Since he wasn't a scientist, he decided to enlist the help of nearby scientists, who determined that this strange, shiny metal bar with teeth that looked like it was built to mesh with the teeth of a wheeled gear could have been part of a machine. However, the mysterious part of this discovery is that the tooth wheel was found embedded in a supposedly ancient coal that dates back to a time when such complex machines hadn't even been invented. To further deepen the mystery, X-ray scans showed that the odd-shaped object was mostly made of aluminum, with only 2-4% to magnesium. This unique blend of elements is not generally produced today and the level of quality of the refined aluminum used in the production of the tooth wheel implied that it was definitely part of an advanced machine. So once again, we turned our gaze up to the stars, because unless the tooth wheel was made by the dinosaurs, it definitely must have come from outer space. But what machine was this strange object a part of? How did it get into our planet? Till today, we still do not have the answers. Number 12. Oumuamua. 
On October 19, 2017, history was made, as the first known interstellar object to visit our solar system was discovered by NASA scientists, using the advanced technology of the Pan-Starstone Telescope. The space object was first observed on September 19, 2017, flying past the Sun at a blistering speed of 196,000 miles per hour, and was first considered to be an asteroid, before further observation revealed that it was likely a comet. This was an astronomical breakthrough, as no other object has been confirmed to have entered the Earth's atmosphere from another solar system. Oumuamua, as it was later named by the scientists who discovered it, was 400 meters long and highly elongated, which was quite surprising, since most asteroids or comets observed in our solar system looked nothing like this puzzling object. According to NASA scientists, the unusual object must have been roaming the Milky Way for hundreds of millions of years before its encounter with our solar system. The discovery immediately attracted international attention, and other telescopes from other countries sprang into action, trying to determine the orbit, brightness, and color of the object. What they found blew their mind even more. This comet was nothing like we've ever seen before, and possessed qualities that differed greatly from the asteroids and comets in our solar system. Images taken of the object showed that it was ten times as long as it was wide, which is an unusual shape for a space object. As expected, speculations began to arise that this may be much more than a comet and could be a probe from an alien mothership sent to observe our planet before their final visitation. But unless that happens tomorrow, scientists are convinced this was just a comet and not some technological gadget from another alien civilization. Number 11. The Hypatia Stone In 1996, while doing fieldwork in the desert of Egypt, archaeologist Aliam Barakat discovered an unusual shiny black pebble buried deep in the sand dunes, a pebble that came to be known as the Hypatia Stone, named after Hypatia of Alexandria. For many years that followed, the origin and purpose of the stone remained a mystery, but one thing was sure, this tiny object was not from our planet. So where exactly did the Hypatia Stone come from, and what was it a part of? To answer this question, once again we look up to the stars, because where else would we look? According to reports from recent studies, the stone was likely a fragment of a meteorite which had crash-landed into the Earth, a theory that fit perfectly in the origin story of the area where it was discovered. However, Jan Kramers, a researcher from the University of Johannesburg had a slightly different explanation for the origin of the stone. According to studies by Kramers and his colleagues, chemical analysis revealed that the stone was likely a fragment from a comet because of the microscopic diamonds particles found in the stone, which was probably why it made it to the surface of the Earth without disintegrating like most fragments of a comet usually do when they explode. According to their report, the comet most likely exploded above Egypt over 28 million years ago. But in 2015, more studies showed that the comet theory may not have been so accurate, as it contained a massive amount of carbon and a small amount of silicon, a chemical composition that has never been observed in any known meteorite or comet. Once again, scientists are still grasping at straws in order to explain this anomaly, and no conclusion has been reached yet concerning its origin and purpose. Number 10. Klerksdorp Spheres Another set of strange objects found on Earth that could have otherworldly origins are the Klerksdorp Spheres. Discovered in a mine in South Africa, these weird spheres look like tiny ancient cricket balls and have seam-like lines designed around their middle. The strange part of these spheres is they were discovered enclosed in a rock that is said to be over 3 billion years old, and scientists claim that they were most likely manufactured. These claims are supported by the fact that the spheres looked nothing like any naturally occurring object and were most likely formed in a place far, far away from our green planet. Many theories concerning these spheres claim that they were probably part of an alien mothership, but how they came to be found on Earth encased in a rock billions of years old still remains an unsolved mystery. The balls are also said to be able to spin on their own, which makes this even more mystifying. However, many scientists do not agree with the otherworldly explanations provided, discarding the claims as over-exaggerated fantasies. One of such scientists is Bruce Cairncross, 
who claimed that he was amused by the fact that the spheres were attributed to extraterrestrial sources. According to him, the spheres had an earthly origin and were likely made by volcanic actions. But do most people believe his claims? Nope. For many, the Klerksdorp spheres remain undeniable proof of the existence of advanced extraterrestrial technology. Number 9. Nazca Lines As you fly over the high deserts of southern Peru, you may want to look down, because right there you will find one of the most unexplained earthworks ever discovered on Earth. Geometric designs, straight lines, zigzags, swirls, and several odd shapes begin to appear on the ground below, forming distinct shapes of animals like spiders, monkeys, and the hummingbird. What you're looking at is called the Nazca Lines and has mystified researchers for over 80 years. There are so many questions surrounding these impressive and expansive earthworks and how such elaborate pieces were made so long ago. These lines can be found just 200 miles southeast of Lima, near a town called Nazca, hence the name, and in total contains over 300 geometric figures, 800 straight lines, and 70 designs of plants and animals, also known as biomorphs. These plants and animal earthworks are even more impressive than the straight lines and geometric figures, and can be very massive, which is why you would be able to view them from high up in the sky. The biomorphs can range from 50 feet to 1,200 feet, which is as large as the Empire State Building. If this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. These geoglyphs were said to have been made on the ground by removing rocks in order to create a negative image. Because of the location of the Nazca Lines, which experiences very little rain, the designs have been perfectly preserved for up to 2,000 years, and scientists believe they were made by the Nazca people, who flourished in the area from around 1 AD to 700 AD. According to Toribio Mejia Zespe, a Peruvian archaeologist who was the first to study the line in 1926, the earthworks are pretty impossible to identify when viewed from the ground, which makes many wonders how they were made at a time when air transport was not even a thing. The only logical explanation, aliens, but that depends on your definition of logical. Number 8. Roswell Rock In 2004, Robert Ridge, a 56-year-old resident of Roswell, New Mexico, was out hunting deer on the sunny afternoon when he made an astounding discovery. He found a strange object buried in the sand, near the site of the infamous UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico. This strange rock which came to be known as the Roswell Rock, has since then inspired several conspiracy theories due to its strange appearance and unexplained origin. Back in 1947, an unidentified saucer was reported to have crashed in the area, and many believe that the Roswell Rock was a part of the UFO. Other people believe that the rock was probably left behind by aliens during an earlier visit to our planet and was probably the main reason why the 1947 UFO crashed. According to alien conspiracy theories, the rock seemed to possess magnetic properties that couldn't be explained by science, or at least our science. For example, if a magnet is placed at the north end of the rock, it strangely spins counterclockwise, and an opposite effect is achieved when a magnet is placed at the southern end. The Roswell rock is also said to contain mysterious symbols etched in its surface, which many experts have compared to the lunar cycle of the moon, and has also been compared to the crop circles that appeared in England in 1996. This rock, which many believe holds mysterious powers, remains a subject of debate and study even after almost 20 years of its discovery. Number 7. Biological Fossils in Meteorites Scientists may have found proof of life outside our planet, but it's not the type you would expect. Chandra Wickramasinghe, director of the Buckingham Center for Astrobiology, reported that he had discovered microscopic biological fossils while studying a meteorite found in Sri Lanka. According to his reports, the fossil was that of a diatom, which is a type of microscopic algae from beyond the shores of our planet. This discovery promoted a theory known as panspermia, which postulates that life exists throughout the universe and that planets like our green Earth are essentially seeded by crashing comets and meteorites such as this one carrying biological materials, which then propagates, evolving into more complex organisms and dominating the planet. 
However, other scientists are pretty skeptical about his claims, and many believe that the meteorite could have been contaminated here on Earth, which would explain the presence of the organic fossils within the rock. Regardless of these doubtful claims, Wickramasinghe stands by his findings, and he believes that the identification of the diatoms in the meteorite is an irrefutable proof of extraterrestrial life. Number 6. The Piri Reis Map While this next object didn't exactly fly into our planet from outer space, the Piri Reis Map is a subject of study and debate among scientists, who wonder how such a detailed piece could have been made so long ago, when technology was not as advanced as it is today. Compiled in the year 1513, the Piri Race map is one of the oldest world maps ever made, perfectly drawn by Turkish cartographer Piri Race. One of the things that fascinated and mystified scholars is how extremely detailed the map is, as it contained accurate details of the maps of North America and South American, which had not even been discovered when the map was drawn. This made many wonders if Piri Race had help from outside the Earth in making this ancient masterpiece. To further deepen the mystery, the map seemed to contain a detailed map of Antarctica, which wasn't even discovered until 1820. The map is said to have been in existence for over 500 years, but mysteriously disappeared at some point, before being rediscovered in 1929 by Halil Ethem, a Turkish museum director who stumbled upon it during the renovation of the Topkapi Palace in Istanbul. However, what we have today is just one-third of the original piece, as most of it had been mysteriously lost. The Pyrrhus race map showed extreme details of Europe, Africa, and the two American continents, including mountain ranges, land features, and dry plains. Was this map made by aliens as many claims? If not, how did the ancient cartographer make such a highly detailed map so long ago? This mystery remains unsolved. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. Scientists have released an image of a mummy they found in an ancient cave, which many claim looks like the remains of an extraterrestrial being, owing to its non-human appearance. The well-preserved mummy has sparked a huge controversial debate on the existence of extraterrestrial beings on our planet. Unfortunately, information regarding this finding is highly classified, and authorities are keeping the discovery hush-hush. However, for many people, this is enough evidence that humans have been in contact with aliens for many years, sharing their knowledge and adopting their culture. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Mysterious Australian Beach Object On July 15, 2023, beachgoers were greeted by a modern, mysterious object that appeared to have washed up on a beach in Greenhead, a town 155 miles north of Perth in Australia. In this age of social media, the news spread like wildfire, catching the attention of international news agencies and blogs. Law enforcement quickly secured the object in order to investigate and concluded that it was not harmful. Many people began to wonder if the object had come from space, what spacecraft it was a part of, and if it had any links to the extraterrestrial. Our fears and excitement were put to rest when authorities confirmed that the strange object was most likely a part of a 20-year-old Indian rocket that was used to launch a rocket. Turns out this was just another space junk falling to the Earth. Number 4. The Turgai Geoglyphs Another set of massive earthworks, the size of several football fields, was discovered in the Turgai Trough of Kazakhstan. These enormous earth constructions, built out of earth and clay, are said to have been made over 8,000 years ago. Discovered in 2007, these unusual geometric patterns numbering into about 127 of them baffled scientists who still do not fully understand why they were made and what purpose they served at the time. Extensive research on the origin and function of these geoglyphs have proved fruitless, and scientists still haven't been able to uncover the mystery surrounding these strange structures. Even more mystifying is the building process, which we do not yet understand, because even in the modern world, building such enigmatic pieces would require heavy machinery, the likes of which have not been invented at the time when the geoglyphs were made. Number 3. The Mysterious Swedish Rock 
How about this mysterious space rock that has been hidden inside a limestone quarry in Sweden for over 470 million years? This one definitely came from outer space, but its origin remains unknown because it is supposed to be a fragment of an extinct meteorite, a type of meteorite that is no longer in existence today. The space rock, known officially as OS-65, is unlike any meteorite that has been discovered on Earth, leading to speculations that it may have come from beyond our solar system. To further strengthen the convictions of its alien origin, scientists found a high concentration of iridium, a metal that is more commonly found in meteorites than in naturally occurring objects of earthly origins. Number 2. Golden Airplanes Archaeologists discovered gold figures made in the semblance of modern aeroplanes while doing some excavations in the area of the Magdalena River in Colombia. These golden aeroplanes are said to have dated back to over 1,000 years ago, many, many years before the Wright brothers invented the aeroplane. The figurines are quite small, ranging from 5 to 7.5 centimeters, and are decorated with various ornaments. The puzzling part of this discovery is how such ancient artifacts could depict a modern invention like the airplane. Just like every time we make a discovery we do not understand, speculations begin to arise, with many people claiming that the ancient people who made these figurines must have been visited by aliens, and that the artifacts were modeled after their spacecrafts. Amazingly, the golden airplane artifacts were aerodynamically correct, and a larger replica that was made at the end of the 20th century was able to fly. Number 1. Ancient Meteorite Artifacts Earlier in this video we talked about a meteorite dagger found in the tomb of King Tutankhamun, but that is not the only meteorite artifact that has been discovered. Archaeologists have also discovered arrowheads dating back to the Bronze Age some 3,000 years ago, which were forged from meteorites. The ancient artifacts, which were discovered in Switzerland in the late 1800s, were said to have been produced by hunters around 900 to 800 BC, with origins beyond the shores of our planet. At first glance, it might look like a normal arrowhead covered in rust, but upon further analysis, scientists discovered that it was actually made from meteorite iron. Grind marks were also observed on the arrowhead, telltale signs of the rough process it took to turn this deep space object to an earthly weapon, along with remains of the tar used to attach the head to the arrow shaft. This arrowhead is one of 55 of its kind that has been discovered throughout history and stands as proof that our world is filled with out-of-place artifacts, many of which we have not even discovered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.